hello everyone and welcome back again so dear friends as you know already we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for third semester CSE stream students okay subject code is BCS 301 so far we, we have discussed a lot of questions from the model question paper okay I have provided the link in the description box you can watch those videos okay so today we will discuss the question number seven uh, C, C part a die was thrown 60 times and the following frequency distribution was observed okay these are the faces die faces one two three four as you know a die has a six faces okay these are the frequency respective frequencies for each and every face okay so this is the chi uh, square distribution problem or whatever you uh, tell it uh, it is also called as chi square distribution okay so uh, the frequencies are given so chi square distribution is uh, commonly used to compare the observed frequencies and expected frequencies first of all we will calculate the expected frequency means uh, when you just throw a, a die a die uh, 60 times okay so the face is uh, how many times they will appear okay so the probability is you can write here in the solution okay frequency or frequency or you can write down simply the expected number of expected number of frequencies for the faces for the faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if you are uh, just throwing 60 times uh, this dice over there okay so uh, you will get 60 upon 6 are the faces you will get 10 okay 10 is the number of frequencies for each and every phase means when you just throw the die you will get uh, one phase 10 times 2 uh, again 10 times and 3 again 10 times like that okay so this is the expected value for each uh, phase over here okay this is the 10 for each now i can write down here the table simply x means faces over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 next is the observed frequency what is the observed frequency 15 6 4, uh, 4 7 11 okay 15 6 4 7 11 and 17 and what is the expected value it is uh, represented represented it as ei so that is where 10 for each okay 10 10 10 10 10 and 10 okay so for chi square distribution there is a formula so you can write down here chi square is equal to summation of i o i minus e i whole square upon e i okay this much you have to calculate so that you will get the answer okay so i can write here chi square is equal to summation you have to do the summation of this particular term that is o i minus e i so o i is first here 15 minus e i is 10 whole square divided by e i is 10 always okay so plus here 6 is oi and ei is 10 so like that 6 minus 10 whole square upon 10 right i hope you are getting 4 minus 10 whole square upon 10 plus 7 minus 10 okay divided by 10 plus 11 minus 10 11 minus 10 whole square upon 10 and plus 17 minus 10 17 minus 10 whole square upon 10 okay so i can take 10 10 common okay 1 upon 10 so 15 minus 10 is how much 5 5 square is 25 plus 6 minus 10 is minus 4 minus 4 whole square is 16 plus 4 minus 10 is 6 36 plus 7 minus 10 is 3 3 square is 9 plus uh, 1 minus 10 is one, sorry this is 11 minus 10 that is your 1 1 square is 1 and plus 17 minus 10 is 7 7 square is 40 9 okay so you are getting chi square is equal to 1 upon 10 just add up this much term that is 25 plus 16 plus 36 plus 9 plus 1 plus 49 which is equal to 136 and divide by this sorry first we will write here 136 then we can write 136 divided by 10 okay which is equal to 13.6 okay okay so now this value you have to compare with the uh, this one test whether the die is unbiased at five percent significance level okay so at five percent significance level chi square is given by uh, 11.07 i will show you in the chi square distribution table right so dear friends see here this is the chi square or chi square table okay where the degrees of freedom are given and uh, you can respectively <coughs> see the numbers okay 
so 0.5 percent you have to check sorry 5 percent develop significance i have marked it with the yellow color over here so at 5 percent significance level the value is given by 11.07 so you have to calculate these values uh, in the next problems also what are the problems are coming like this one only you can you can find out the values from the g square distribution table okay i hope uh, you have got this <coughs> so i hope you have got uh, how to calculate the g square value at five percent level of significance so as in the given problem chi square is greater than 11.07 therefore we can conclude that it was uh, uh, the question we were supposed to test whether the dye is unbiased at 5% level if it is coming uh, less than this range 11.07 then we can say that the dye is unbiased but we are getting greater than this value 11.07 so I can conclude that the dye is not unbiased okay this is all about today's problem thank you